In this module, we will be looking at Terraform. And Terraform is a tool for infrastructure automation to provision and manage resources in any cloud or any data center. So you're wondering how you can provision resources on any given cloud platform or even in data center. Terraform is one of the tools that should come to mind. Let's have a detailed understanding of what Terraform is. So what is Terraform? The first thing you should have at the back of your mind is Terraform is an infrastructure as code tool. An infrastructure as code, I, E, C, tool. This means that assuming you want to provision certain resources on any given cloud platform, let's say you want to create networking resources in the cloud, you want to create database resources you want to create compute resources storage and the rest or and a whole lot of others assume you want to provision all of these resources in a given cloud technology you can provision these resources using an infrastructure as code tool like terraform the second thing you should understand is with terraform resources are not provision using the console or the graphic user interface this means that terraform is a cli based to where cli is command line interface so you come to the official documentation terraform.io you see terraform helps you to automate infrastructure on any cloud with terraform and now deliver your infrastructure as code this means that instead of you going to the console to provision resources you can deliver all these resources as code and you can adopt build standardize and scale you can also come to terraform you can also come on terraform use cases you can use terraform infrastructure as code you can use Terraform for multi-cloud provisioning. You can manage Kubernetes with Terraform. You can manage network infrastructure. These are all other Terraform use cases. So you can do, these are other tutorials which you can do as far as Terraform is concerned. The third thing we should understand is reusability. With reusability, you have the ability to reuse code. So assuming you created a VPC or a subnet or a or an S3 bucket which you created using Terraform in a given environment, maybe stage environment, you can use these same codes to create this same set of resources in another environment. So you come to another environment, VPC, subnet s3 bucket and now this might be the prod environment so with terraform you have the possibility to reuse your code if you've used if you've written a given block of code to use in a particular environment you can come to another environment and create those same set of resources so terraform enables the ability to reuse code to provision resources in a given environment another thing we should understand as far as terraform is concerned is state management now state management basically keeps track of keeps track of changes in your infrastructure so assuming you've built a vpc with subnet one and subnet two Terraform gives you the possibility to manage the state of your existing environment using Terraform state files. So the moment you provision resources in your environment, Terraform gives you the possibility to manage the state of the resources with Terraform state files. And with these Terraform state files, if you are now to create a new resource, let's say an internet gateway 
the state file keeps track of all the changes this new addition or maybe a subtraction of a given resource in your environment so terraform gives you the possibility to manage the state of your environment terraform gives us the possibility to have different providers providers here are basically the cloud providers this means that you can use terraform to provision resources in the aws cloud you can use terraform to provision resources in azure cloud you can use terraform to provision resources in gcp and even on-prem data centers so terraform gives you the possibility to work with different providers the next thing we should understand as far as terraform is concerned is we have terraform files terraform files and the terraform files are actually the way you specify the infrastructure so once you're to give once you're to draw or once you're to come up with a given infrastructure you create this infrastructure using terraform files and as far as terraform files are concerned you always see a main the terraform file you maybe see a provider the terraform file you see maybe a variable the terraform file you see maybe an output the terraform files so you manage the different resources or you specify or you define these resources in terraform using terraform files how do you go about creating these resources for you to create any given resource you make use of the terraform registry the terraform registry contains all the syntax for the syntax for resource creation take for example you want to create a dpc using terraform or you want to create a subnet or you want to create an instance an instance using terraform for you to know the exact syntax on how to provision all of these resources you use the terraform registry now the terraform registry will tell you the variables or the inputs or the outputs needed to create a given resource so with that let's go ahead to have a big understanding around terraform once you're on the terraform.io to have an understanding on how to navigate through the various resources on terraform once you want to understand how to navigate through the various resources you can come to the registry here and you'll have access to the terraform registry which will give you the understanding of how to make use of syntax now with the terraform registry you can browse between providers the different cloud providers if you click on here you will see the different cloud providers as far as terraform is concerned we have AWS Cloud, Azure, GCP, Kubernetes, Alibaba Cloud, Oracle Cloud. So these are other, or oh, these are all the different providers that you can use as far as Terraform is concerned. And providers basically they enable you to do API calls between your resources or between the command or between the infrastructure they are provisioned in your local system wherever you're writing the code with the given cloud provider. Now, assuming that you want to have a lot of information around amazon web service as a provider you click on amazon web service and they'll give you a little bit of details around aws so the life cycle management of aws resources including ec2 lambda eks ecs disease and more so this provider is a provider for aws you can have provider for azure gcp and the list continues now once you're on the terraform registry as well you can browse through modules if you browse through modules you see the various modules you can create resources using modules we'll see that later when we are going through our various modules now assuming you want to understand how to use a particular resource and you're on the registry assuming you want to create a vpc once you come to the registry and you type vpc here and you search they give you the different resources as far as vpc are concerned so if you click here for example you see resource aws VPC. Now, if you want to create a resource AWS VPC using Terraform, you come here and we have basic usage. They give you how you can use that. We have resource AWS VPC. You give the name of the VPC or the name of the resource and then you specify the variables for that resource. 
a resource basically is any service that you want to make use of in the aws cloud and these are the various resources we have chime batch backup auto scaling these are all different resources available on the aws cloud so we are still on the vpc resource and this they give you basic usage of how you can use terraform to go about now as far as the resource is concerned you should take note of the resource name and then they give you how you can use the resource so basically they give how they give an example on how to use the resource they give you an argument reference an attribute reference and a lot more basically if you are to use a vpc resource this is the basic usage you specify the resource that you want to create and you give the resource name now assuming you're on your aws console and want to create a vpc we click on create vpc if you click on vpc alone the main thing that you need to create a vpc is the vpc name so if you were to create this vpc on the vpc on the aws console you have to specify the vpc name and you have to specify the vpc cider and then you have to specify the tenancy and lastly the tax before you can go ahead to create this vpc it's the same thing we have here in terraform for you to create the terraform resource you must specify that you want to create the vpc which is your resource you must give the name of the vpc which is name and then you must specify the cider block which is the same thing which if you're on the console you will specify the vpc name you give the cider block of the vpc and then you can optionally add tax now as far as terraform is concerned they give you the basic usage for creating a particular resource and then now they give you how to add other components to the main resource in this case if you are now to add a tag on this given resource like you have here when you are creating your vpc if you want to add tag you come to terraform you see they've given now the provision to add tags now they ask you do you want to use the cider form and aws ipam and so on so this is the basic usage let's take another resource like ec2 so to get any other resource you want to create maybe you type ec2 you type ec2 and you hit enter they will tell you these are different ec2 resources do you want to create a snapshot do you want to create an ebs volume do you want to create data sources do you want to create ami let's take do you want to create ec2 host do you want to create ec2 tag now let's take ec2 instance aws instance once you click on AWS instance, they give you the basic usage using IAM lookup. And with that, it means you're creating a resource, which is an instance. You're giving the name. Then you specify the AMI of that instance. You specify the instance type, and then you give a tag to that instance. So this is basically how you can navigate yourself through your console and Terraform. Let's get detailed into our module and understand the various components as far as Terraform is concerned.